Michelle, uh, tough away game today at Corby Town, but we came through 2-1 in the end, you must be delighted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great result for us. Um, like I say, we, we came here, I suppose, with um, everything to lose and not, not a lot to gain on paper because people would have expected us to come here and win. Um, but we knew it wasn't going to be anywhere near that, that easy. Um, these are in a, a, a false position. Um, in, in my uh, in my opinion, they've had a good start to the season and a couple of losses, which has, has put them on the back foot. But um, they, they've shown, like I say, they've, they've sort of kept going, um, showed a lot of spirit, um, got themselves a goal back, and like I say on, on another day we may um, we may not come away with with all three points we, we're delighted to. Um, first off. Created some good chances. We had three really good chances by putting the ball in, in the right area, really getting the ball um, with quality between the posts. And disappointed we didn't take one of those. And obviously the start against the second half is um, is great for us. Just thought last 20 minutes we not took our foot off the gas, but just made some decisions that gave me the impression that we thought the game was won. Um, and two 0 is always a, um, a difficult scoreline as we've, we've shown this season. With the, the sort of certainly games at home a couple of times last season up to us where we put ourselves or just by inviting a little bit of pressure um, we give teams some incentive to come at us and we've conceded the goal and like I say we've had to work harder than we probably should have at the end of the game. It was a quiet first half by uh, foul standards but the second half started at lightning pace we got a, a goal early in the second half which was disallowed at first what did you did you make of that incident? No, it was definitely a goal I mean it's um, but again I suppose 15 years ago it would have been offside um, because people that were offside weren't offside then but the ball's been played back and there's a shot gone in deflected off one of their lads and we've got lads stood in offside positions but in no way they're nowhere near the ball they don't affect the um, affect the goal at all um, so thankfully the, the officials um, have got together and the referees made a good decision the linesman is quite within his um, his rights to put the flag up because like I say if he's looking along the, along the line we've probably got two lads that are stood offside um, but he can't see if they're affected affecting the play and like I said they're not in the line of the goal at all um, so thankfully um, they've gone over discussed it and got the, got the decision right in terms of like I say in terms of the first half it's a difficult pitch I think we, we know that um, as a team we need to um, need to improve I suppose being more functional and putting the ball in the right areas putting the ball um, in channels at times whether it might be little hooks and recognise that you can't play all the time um, whether that be team stop you or whether that be like say surface you're playing on um, so second off we asked them just to again see how many times we get the ball in that in, in the middle of the six yard box put the ball into the channels and um, certainly the uh, the goals have come from getting into wide areas and again one sort of setback one Dion's got um, Shown, shown great pace and, and got at the side and, and fouled for a penalty, so um, it's made up to win. And uh, our result today, team with the Solihull's draw, puts us top of the league for the first time this season. That must be uh, really nice to hear. Yeah, again, not seeing results, we'll, we'll look at that um, when we get back on the on the bus um, and we'll enjoy our, enjoy our trip home. Said in the press um, before today's game that, yeah, we want to be up and around the top of the table. Um, we want to make sure that cup games don't affect that and league games are really important to us um, and when we do play in between our cup matches it's important we win to keep ourselves up and around at the, the, the top but um, like I say we, we experienced that last year um, we didn't manage to get over the line last year and like I say we need to make sure we're, we're, we're top of the league or near the top of the league come March, April time um, and hopefully we can, we can go one better this time. Talking of cup games we've got a, a massive FA Cup game next week at home to Barrow what did you think uh, when you saw their name come out the hat uh, next to ours. You always, um, I think, with, with cup matches, and the way uh, the way things are, especially being regionalised, you always seem to play against teams you sort of you, you know um, or you've played before. It, it always, again, it always tends to tends to work out like that. So, the same at home. Um, we'd have taken playing anyone at home. Draw could have been easier, could have been more difficult. Um, Battle will say exactly the same. Um, it's a one-off game with a, um, a place in the first round proper at the end of it. So a game we can now look forward to because we've got, like I say, we've 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 come here and, and done a professional job, got a, a really good victory. Um, we can now 
focus our minds on, on that game. We'll, we'll train hard and all week and put a game plan in place um, and enjoy playing at home in what will be, like say, a good, a good game, uh, a good atmosphere, a decent crowd and, like I say, a big prize at the end of it. OK, it's Thank, Thank you. you.